What's up guys, how we doing? So, back on the normal camera. It's in the morning, I've got stuck into the, into the car so far, it's going well. The diff's out of the cradle, and the hubs and drive axles are also off the cradle. I'm gonna change the diff hat over now. Get that all so it's all sealed up and there's plenty of time for the sealant to cure. And then, yeah, get to work on cutting all the old uh, rear diff, diff support off the frame. So it's ready for the new stuff to get welded on. Bit of prep as well, so it's nice clean surface to weld on. My very nice neighbour Kevin's letting me use his welder, tack it on. So put the diff in place, get it so the uh, pinion angle's at the right right angle, and then we'll bolt the mounts onto the onto the rear of the diff hat and uh, tack them onto the K-frame, and then take the diff out, because it's aluminium and you don't want to weld around that. And then, yeah, weld it, put some proper beads on, put the correct gusting across it so it's all nice and strong, and give it a bit of paint, and then reassembly. So, yeah, it's all going well. So some more good bits to go in. That lighting, I bet that's terrible. So more fun bits, guys. This is the upper control arm for a bear falcon. And this is where the upper control arm bolts to your hub. And that is how you adjust your camber. See, it's a, uh, just like a little cam washer. It's got a flat side, little cam washer. So you just turn the bolt and it'll turn the cam washer in like the little recess in the hub and that'll give you a camber adjustment. Very, very minor camber adjustment. Giving a lowered car, it's still gonna just eat out the inside of your tires. So, getting rid of this, getting rid of this. And this is straight off the shelf from Nolithane. These are adjustable up control arms, so. Yeah, you just, you have the beauty of that thread, that adjustment right there. And yeah, you can get your cambo exactly where you need it. I'm not sure if you can get adjustable lowers as well. So I think the because there's uh, three lower control arms on this sort of setup. It's it's a confusing sort of independent rear end, but the uh, the the lower control arm that's furthermost to the rear of the car is has like a little cam bolt like that one I just showed you, and I think it's for the toe. It'll probably play in with the camber a little bit, but I think it's mainly for your rear toe and toe out. So. I mean, we don't really want to go crazy with adjusting toe in the rear end of a rear-wheel drive car because I'm just going to chew out tyres and, you know, traction issues. But, you know, that adjustability is there. don't know if there's aftermarket control arms for them, but we're just keeping those standard for now. This, along with the coilovers that are over there on the bench, should turn it into a much nicer car to drive. Gross. The goods. Hectic. Piece of wood. Always remember as well, just like all the bolts out, makes it way easier to get the cover off. These little pieces right here, these are what hold your side bearings in. So these, I think this is your, your bearing housing for your side side bearings and your diff. And this is like a little thing that bolts right there. And these little teeth just hold in there to stop it from turning or 
doing or whatever it does. But they are uh, they're just foul on this bit of casting, so or of marks. Just got to trim them up, make them fit, and then yeah, happy days. All trimmed up. See, it fits in that casting real well now. Lovely. Another thing I do need to cut out. <laughs> Bit of casting, right? Well, bit of sheet metal in the actual body of the car that needs to get chopped off because it gets in the way. So, yeah, it's gonna hurt actually chopping a part out of my car, but hey, it's got to be done. It's got to be done. What I was doing here was cutting the diff bush support off of the K frame, so the OEM support that all needs to be removed. Cut the bulk of it off. Half of it had snapped off anyway. So cut the bulk of it off and then grind all the welds and all the excess sheet metal off afterwards, make it a nice clean surface ready to weld. Ladies and gentlemen, so yesterday between cameras running out of battery or running out of memory or any of that, I didn't get to document everything. I took some photos on my phone and I will, the, I will edit those into the video. So there's some sort of evidence that I did all this myself. But yeah, the, the K-frame is fully reassembled. I was just doing some grinding last night. There's a section of the car body that you actually have to remove, which used to bolt to the diff hat, the original OEM diff hat. So that had to be removed from the car. And it got too late past sort of noise restriction times. You can't be grinding in my shed. Little kids and stuff next door, and so it's a bit unfair. So yeah, called it and went to bed. Got up this morning and yeah, finished grinding and installed it all and then move on to the coilovers and sway bars. So yeah, I'll show you, come have a look. So here we are. It's the diff and cradle assembly all back together. So you got my adjustable rear camber arms in. Don't freak out, these discs are coming off so my slotted Brembo's can go back on. And there she is, all mounted up. life hack for any of you guys that are going to do this. If you've got an engine crane, works really good as a trolley. You might have noticed before I had the cradle sitting on the legs of the engine, the engine stand out here in the patio, just when I was working on it, and uh, that actually worked really good. What I did is I took the, I took the cylinder and the lift arm off, the, off of it, and then just wheeled it straight under. I had about 10 mil each side clearance, but it just fits, so now I can wheel it almost all the way under, and then I've just got to figure out a way of putting the jack under it so it's nice and nice and stable. I'm gonna get a hand from Travis, my neighbor, and put it up there. It'll... It's getting close, it's all happening. <laughs> 